Good morning, friends. This morning I wanted to share a little devotional that I've prepared for you, and it's uh, really based on something we read from one of our Torah portions this week, this prayer that, or this blessing that God commanded Aaron to proclaim over the people. It's a blessing that I've personally proclaimed over my household for a very, very long time. And I just kind of wanted to share the idea that the words that come out of your mouth have extreme power. And what you proclaim, and what you say, and although I don't talk about it any in this devotional, even what you think has great power. Uh, I believe it's one of the Proverbs, and somebody can put this in the comments below if you can remember what I'm talking about. Uh, but off the cuff, it's either a proverb or a psalm that says, As a man thinketh, so he is. And so that's what I wanted to share with all of you this morning. It's been a while since I've wrote any devotionals. Um, been a, been really discouraged kind of with writing and stuff lately. And uh, so here's just a little something, nothing spectacular. Uh, but I hope that the thoughts uh, and the words that I'm sharing with you this morning uh, are a blessing and an encouragement to you uh, in the faith. The title is Yehovah Bless You, Yehovah Bless You and guard you. There is much power in our words. And what we speak and pray over others, our words can empower, bless, and bring life to a person we love, or they can break down and destroy the spirit. The tongue comes with much power, and as the children of the Most High, we should be very careful how we wield that power. Proverbs 15, chapter, or chapter 15, verse 4 says this, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. In the book of Numbers, God commands Moses to inform Aaron how to speak a great blessing over the people of Israel. Numbers chapter 6, verse 23 through 27 says this, Speak Aaron and his son, saying, This is how you bless the children of Israel. Say to them, Yehovah bless you and guard you. Yehovah make his face shine upon you and show favor to you. Yehovah lift up his face upon you and give you peace. Thus they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I myself shall bless them. This blessing is very near and dear to my heart. It's a blessing that I have spoken over my son for many years and continue to speak over him as often as I can. It's a blessing that has been spoken over my wife and her family by her grandmother for an entire generation. My hope is that this blessing will be forever embedded in my son's heart and imprinted on his life. Here's the devotional. Our words are powerful. And we need to consider them and the power they wield before they exit our mouths. May we speak encouragement, love, and blessing over others, especially those of the faith. May God keep the key to the door of our mouths, lest we speak a curse or bring shame to ourselves and our loved ones. May God's grace and mercy flow out of us, through us, through our words, and be a light and a blessing to this broken and hurting world. Amen. Well, I hope this has been an encouragement and a blessing and food for thought for your spirit this morning. Peace and grace be with all of you. And until next time, God bless.